Hey, what's up? Welcome to the VB Vault. It's Monday and today we're going to be talking about selling your VB NFTs on eBay. eBay recently came out with a new policy change about seven days ago where they're now allowing NFT sales on their platform and they also have their own category for NFTs. So we're going to take a look at that and uh, that's something I know a little bit about is selling on eBay so I might be able to give you some good tips on that. Uh, before we get there though, I'm going to uh, point out a couple of things that I found on David Yu's Instagram recently. He posted a, a video about the Black and White Series 5 that's coming out on Thursday and a couple of people asked some questions uh, on that post. This person here asked about the drops coming out and about FA and it was pretty exciting to see Mr. Yu's response. He said here, I, I see what you mean. FA will definitely keep that in mind. Following week 27th, we will have all first appearances, FAs. So uh, I did a little research here so you can get a better picture of what the difference is between FA and FE, first appearance and first edition. First appearance is obviously the most valued one and the most sought after ones and it, I guess that pretty much means the first time that a character is seen on the platform. So if they were to drop Star Trek or Jurassic Park uh, on the 27th, then those would be FA first appearances. I also thought this was pretty interesting. Somebody asked Mr. Yu, will Pokemon or Marvel be coming anytime soon or Dragon Ball Z? And Mr. Yu replied with a heart sign. So that's kind of encouraging. Maybe uh, that means that he has one of those brands in mind or they're already talking to them or that's coming soon. I'm sure some people will take that as confirmation, but I thought it was uh, pretty encouraging at least. Just a quick update on the drop, we have Batman Black and White Series 5 coming out on Thursday, which is pretty exciting. Uh, you may have seen this video that was put out recently on YouTube from somebody who says they found these in the source code and that these are all the NFTs that are going to be coming out in this series. I know that the physical Black and White, uh, Batman Black and White series has 100 statues in it and these are the 100 statues so if the if it is fan made then they just took off they I mean they had the information already they had the picture so that it wouldn't have been that hard to do so in my opinion it's probably something that's fan made and you don't know exactly what's coming out but if you're taking that um, information to heart and you look at the dates on there you can see these are the four that are expected to be dropped on Thursday so I guess if these are the four that are dropped we can expect that all the dates on that video which I will link down in the description are correct and I did go through them and I was going to pick out two or three to show you guys of my favorite but there are so many good ones I picked out like eight or nine and then I just had to give up because there were so many I wanted to show you there's some really cool stuff in there like I said the video is going to be linked in the description if you want to check it out I don't know if they're really from the source code or they're fan made but you can decide for yourself alright guys a couple days ago I put out a video about flipping uh, VB NFTs on the in-app marketplace and although that video was a little hard to follow because I didn't have everything recorded and it was my first time doing it that way, I really liked the format of that. And then after I saw this comment on the video a couple hours after I posted it, it gave me the idea to do a part two uh, where I maybe invest a little bit more since I had uh, what 477 gems from the last video already and try to get uh, bigger flips out of it, more impressive flips that I can post for a part two. Uh, so recently I picked up a bunch of NFTs to flip that I thought were being priced pretty low and if you're following the market you probably know that prices have gone down the last 24 hours or so. So all the NFTs that I have right now are almost overpriced at the price that I bought them because the floor has dropped out. So uh, some solutions to think about are other ways to sell your NFTs besides the NFT marketplace whenever it goes down like this. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so when you're looking for some other options to sell your NFTs besides the NFT marketplace, you have of course Facebook groups, which is where I started selling and buying mine when I first got into VB, and it's a great place to get stuff sold and bought, sometimes for over the market value of the NFT uh, marketplace. And in this case, I posted all the stuff that I had purchased for only a little bit more than I had purchased it, and put it up in this group, the largest uh, VB trading group on Facebook, and. You can see there that's eight hours ago and I haven't had any comments at all. So there's not a lot happening there either. If you do go into Facebook and try to join some Facebook groups, I would suggest this one. The VV Collectibles community is probably one of the best ones. If, I'm, if I put mine up in here, I might get a little bit more action. But with the new policy by eBay, I'm more interested in trying that out. So let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, if you search eBay NFTs, on Google you'll see that seven days ago the news broke about eBay's new policy about allowing NFTs on their platform 
and only a few days ago they actually added a whole new category you can see here NFTs if you search NFT it'll be under art and if you go into the listing and you start filling everything out you can see all the options they have here with the blockchain and the token ID and the creator and the product I think I changed that up to like um, AR NFT or collectible and you can see here they have a contract address and uh, of course if you know for VV their contract average addresses are private so there's nothing you can put there besides the word private the problem is it says here required soon so when that becomes required if you're not able to get your contract address from your for your VV NFT then you wouldn't be able to list it in this category however I don't think it would be any problem to list it in this other art category which is where most people list their NFTs from VV because they don't know about the new category yet and you'll get plenty of action there but I think this new category is going to start to heat up pretty soon people are going to start to notice it and they'll probably even pump it a little bit advertise it so it's a good idea to go ahead and start getting stuff listed in there it's easy to go into your uh, NFT's information screen and find out the date minted uh, it's easy to find the edition number of course and the total number of, edi of editions whenever I'm listing something on eBay in this new category and I'm looking for the total number of editions I usually just go over here to Butt Thompson's spreadsheet and he has all of that information right here. It's a good resource to find out how many are made and also you can find out the average price. These are all eBay sales, the average price of eBay sales. Okay so now that eBay has a new policy and a new category for NFTs, it's becoming a little bit more of an interesting place to get into and to research. So uh, if you've never sold on eBay before, you would just have to set up an account and start I'll show you how to start listing stuff to sell but the problem is if you don't have any feedback people aren't going to trust you to buy from you so one thing you can do uh, at the beginning whenever you first open a new account if you've never had an eBay account before is you can buy feedback for, for pretty cheap so what you want to do is go to the type in all and make sure you're not looking at auctions you just want to go to the buy it now listings right here not auctions right now you got both so now we got buy it now as we took all the auctions out because we want something that we can buy right this second. We got lowest first checked and each one of these is basically a feedback, a positive feedback for 82 cents. So if you want to start selling on eBay and you don't mind investing 10 or $12 to start off with 10 feedback, then just go in here and buy 10 cheap things that are digital items and the person will deliver it automatically and get you'll get the feedback automatically so by the next day you're gonna have 10 feedback and you look a little more trusted when you're trying to sell your items okay there are a couple things that I should mention that people who haven't sold on eBay before should know about for one is the fees it's usually about 9% of what you sell so if you're trying to make a certain amount of profit on an NFT then you need to price that you know I would do at least 10% because that's easier to calculate price that into your sale for example, I'm selling my Fumos for 60. I usually sell them for 50 on the app. So that's going to make up for all the fees and a little bit extra. Of course, you don't have to worry about shipping. You put everything as local pickup as you're shipping. And what happens is the buyer gets a code. And once it's like a five digit code. And once they receive the NFT, they just type that code in there to show that they've received the item. And it counts as being shipped and received. Okay, we're going to do a listing real quick for a BB NFT so you can see how it's done. It's actually pretty easy. I use a template for all of my um, eBay listings so if I just go into one of mine I can just cut and paste that you might want to start your own template these are ones that I listed before so on mine I can just cut and paste it and then I can change the information if you want to make it something simple you can just do a simple description that's up to you or you can do a template like I do um, what it would be the easiest thing to do and what will save you a lot of time is once you've listed your first VV NFT you can click sell a similar item and most of the information will already be uh, filled out for you but for this example we'll go ahead and just start from scratch and we're gonna do a common dragon girl I think I paid 52 gems for it so we'll see if we can put it up for $59.99 and we'll see how that works okay the th first thing we're gonna do is search for our category for our listing that's the first thing they ask for if you just type in VV NFT the new category for NFT should pop right up for you uh, nope it doesn't because it's brand new it's only a few days old so you're gonna have to actually go in there and search for it so all you do is type in NFT right there and it's gonna pop up right here and that's gonna change your options down at the bottom now when it comes to pictures they're pretty easy to grab you can do a screenshot from your phone that'll show your uh, edition number and that helps but for me I just grab them right off of here 
that works. I'll just crop out all of their information. Go up here and add it back. And you don't want their edition number showing, so you just crop that out. Get as much as you can in there so it looks good. Save that. And you got a good picture in there. And now you got to fill out all this information. Okay, so filling out the details of your NFT listing, the blockchain for VV is Go, although they're currently in progress of changing blockchains, although we don't know what blockchain they're changing to. I mentioned the contract address before. Let's see if it tells us the date. Nope, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. July 11th. It will become required on July 11th, 2021. So that's pretty important, but like I said, you can always list it in different categories. The creator, I put VV here. I'm not sure if that's correct. AR NFT, you know, you can do what you think is right for these. I'm gonna put Dragon Girl here. Uh, actually, I guess on creator, we should do the artist since this is an art piece. Okay, you also have to have the token ID address by July 11th, which we don't have that information as well. The date mint it will be on your uh, NFT's information. I'm gonna go in here and get all that and fill it all out. Okay, I got all the information filled out there. You can fill it in the best way that you think, whatever you think works best for each answer. And I'm going to just type, uh, paste my, my template in there. And over here, I'm going to just change up a few options. Now that I have a template, it makes it really easy. All right, and I also put some information in here that's important for the buyer to know that they must have the mobile app in order to accept the item and the information of how to receive it and about the shipping, local pickup and everything. So once you get to this point, you have the option of using an doing an auction on eBay, which a lot of people like to do. I personally like fixed price better. That way you can uh, determine what you're going to get for it. And plus it might sell faster. You might get an insta sell as soon as you list it. For this common dragon girl, I'm going to put it up for $59.98. I actually do $98 on everything to undercut those .99 guys. But now that you have your picture and all your information filled out, um, well, one thing we forgot and one of the most important things is the title. They always say, eBay sellers always say that you should use all of the characters in your title that you can. Try to fill it up with as many keywords as possible. That'll get it higher in the searches and that gives you a better chance of selling it. So let's come up with a good title for this listing. Okay guys, this is the title that I came up with for this listing. These are all some of the keywords that I like to put into my listings on eBay. First appearance is a good one because that lets people know that it's valuable and also sold out that you can't get them anymore. I like to put the edition number and the total number so they know that it's limited. And in this case, of course, I had Simone Ligno, but I also put in Tokidoki for Tokidoki fans so that whenever they search maybe Tokidoki art or Tokidoki NFT, this also pops up as well. If you look into the sold listings of NFTs recently on eBay, you can see that they're following the marketplace pretty much, but these are all auctions. If you look at the Buy It Now Best Offer listings, those are selling for better prices. So I would suggest not doing auctions. You see this one went for 228, but on the other hand, this one went for 338, and there's not a special serial number, so you're kind of rolling the dice on those. I think the best move here is to pick a good price to where you're making a profit on your NFT, including the fees, work those fees in there, and set it up there on eBay, and wait until it sells. Now, what you don't want to do is put something on eBay and put it on the in-app marketplace at the same time, because if it sells on the marketplace and then somebody buys it on eBay, they're going to be upset and you might get a negative feedback. All right, guys, eBay is becoming another option for VV NFT flippers. But of course, you always have Thursday. You know, people are going to stock up on gems before the drop and not everybody's going to get what they want. They're going to have extra gems and they're going to start spending again and the market's going to go up at least a little bit. So you have all your options there if you've already purchased NFTs like myself and I still plan on making a profit off of them. This time I'm keeping track of everything, so I'm gonna make sure you guys know exactly how much I buy and sell every uh, NFT during this little one week cycle for. So I hope everybody has a good week. Hope everybody gets some good Batmans or Jokers if they release them. And uh, take it easy, BB Bolt is gone.